Well, hello there, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting, and we're falling right into my Hermitcraft base called Scarlet, and my mega theme park base here on the server, and look at the castle. When I logged on today, it just filled me with so much happiness because I'm getting really close to my anniversary of when I bought Minecraft 14 years ago, and to build out my dream of base here brings me with so much joy and happiness when I logged on today. So I'm so excited for today. And as you can see, there's no longer any poop or horses or weather skulls in the base all cleared out so we can have a nice, relaxing, peaceful day in the park. We're going to do some landscaping. We're going to build out the backstage areas of the park and, of course, figure out what we're going to do with our unattentional mob farm in here. I'm still kind of hoping that they just spleef each other out of existence like that spider. But as I said, the backstage areas are going to be really fun. I'm going to pull some Easter eggs from prior seasons. We got golf carts. We got so many things we're going to build back here. But best of all, in the guest areas of the park, we're going to work on some new tree designs, flower designs, plant designs, and some buildings that will fill in this entire grass field. Oh boy, I just got a message from Grin. I'm not sure if today is going to be peaceful. Welp, it looks like we're meeting up with the mumbo of the jumbo and the green. Who knows what they want? We'll find out very soon. But we need to stop here at the TCG shop and swap out all of our old season one cards for the new and improved season two cards because we are going into season two and we're implementing TCG Tuesdays where we all record stream together on Tuesdays playing the game. So we need to swap out all the old cards for the new ones and a great opportunity to let you know that my collector's edition TCG card is on sale. It comes in signed, unsigned, ships this winter and is on sale until the end of July. It comes in the beautiful protective case with the name plaque at the top and of course the collector's box. And yeah, it's available now. You can join the movement on destroying my hand by buying the signed version, of course. But thank you so much for the support so far. That took a while, but all the cards are now sorted out. And I'm gonna go through here and I want you to help me make my season two TCG deck to play in TCG Tuesdays. So pause the video if you need to, but look through all my cards and let me know in the comments what I should use for my new deck for season two. By the way, that emerald right there, super rare. It was a misprint. I'm gonna sell it to the museums. It's like a bad penny that gets misprinted and is worth a fortune. So I met up with Mumbo and Grian, hence the eyes, and we have banded together as the Buttercup Trio to counter Doc's reign of terror. You might be wondering, Scar, why the Buttercup Trio? Well, buttercups are poisonous to goats. And we have made this most delightful little camp here at the rim of the Great Perimeter. This is Grian's tent here, rocking some most delightful art in the interior. This is my tent here, which is super cute inside with the flowers and all the 1.20 items here. Very buttercup in its design. And then there's Mumbo's tent, a delightful tent in itself, but there is something funny about it. As I was looking at this, I'm like, this is a really cute tent, Mumbo. And then I realized his floor looks like a bathroom floor. So uh, yeah, Mumbo's tent is basically the buttercup uh, bathroom tent. And I 100% will be building a toilet inside. And as the buttercup trio, we will stop Doc's reign of terror. And we also realize something. Grian has a weakness, a weakness that he shares with Anakin Skywalker. So this watching. eye is one block taller. It needs <laughs> to be a, fixed. It's fine. It's fine. Thank That's you. Wait. I'm glad I decided to make this a falling sand. <laughs> no, if you're saying something annoying, I can just be like... <laughs> Bye, <laughs> Buttercup. Well you're safe. <laughs> this is an incredible power you have been gifted, and I urge you, I urge you to use it well. You this have pit. no idea how annoying it is. No, yeah, Scar, no, I no. see it in your hand. Uh, First, Scar starts falling. I, I have a. I <laughs> Scar! You <laughs> Do you have Scar. any idea how long it takes to get <laughs> Minecraft loaded? I'll see you guys later. Ah, uh, let me help you with that. There you go. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, butter. Oh, butter. Oh, butter, you crashed again. <laughs> Take that, mister. <laughs> <laughs> You know no what happens falling. if you can't make a rule? If you're not oh. on the server. Oh. Oh, 
wait, he got it just in time. Why on earth is he crashing because of sand or other gravity blocks in Minecraft? We have no idea, but it is amazing. I haven't laughed this hard in a long time, but the Buttercup Camp Toilet is now ready for business. And if we open up the door, we've got our toilet, toilet paper on the wall. And I mean, come on, that floor really does look like a campground tent toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I absolutely love it. I have had a blast today, but it is now time to get our materials ready to go because the front of Scarland needs finishing. What? What the? What the? Ah, the horse is attacking me. What the heck is going on? What is this? Well, I just. I just, I just log out, horse. I just log out for a few hours and I'm back on and this is blanketing the entire base. I have never seen so many dragon eggs. Oh my gosh, it's where we're gonna build today. No, oh no. Oh my gosh, it's all over the place. It's everywhere. And on the bridge and everything. Oh, into the, into the vault? Ooh, who's that hot guy? I am, oh no. Uh, on the rocks? <laughs> I have, I have no idea. Who, what is that? Is that Mumbo in green? Whoa, oh no, too fast. Yeah. Oh, what up, uh -oh. Buttercups? What's going on here, Buttercups? <laughs> Hi, Buttercup. I've got work hey, to do, Buttercups. Yeah, you've got a yeah, lot of work got, to do, actually. Yeah, we've got, got a really, we, yeah, we've got a really big issue. So I got work to yeah. do, and it's covered in eggs. Yeah, I got, mm. I got yeah. really bad news. Is yeah. that both methods of getting rid of the eggs make me crash, and Mumbo has the same issue. Yeah. Really? Totally, definitely, for real. Count. In, I'll break this. I'll break this. Okay, block. stand in front of me. No, no, no. Stand here. I want to get a good view. I want to get a good view. Stand here. Stand, yep. stand right next to Mumbo. Get over here. Okay. okay. Get yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah. Hold hands. Hold hands. Get yeah. close. Okay. Closer. Closer. A little closer. Yeah. yeah it's a yeah. There so we as go. Breaks, there as as we go. Breaks, you I love to see I it. I will crash. You here ready? We go. One, yep. two, three, two, four, one. nine. <laughs> so basically, we've got quite a problem. Yeah. yeah, big problem. Oh wait. Oh no. Wait. Oh. Mm. Uh, so you're, you're I have a the small brain, but I'm picking up what you're throwing down here. Yeah. Two, two of us are unable to get the eggs. So yeah, so you have to do all the clearing up, you know. <laughs> Did I tell you I got some trees being delivered from the nursery? I got work to do at <laughs> Scarland. No. You're the, you're the only one that can clear up these one? eggs. Am I the egg only boy? One. You are the egg boy. Yeah, I can't believe that it's just such bad luck that, that is, mine that's would also that's start. A, that's a rough Wait, job wait, I, I felt something strange inside my pit of my stomach. Hold on, look, watch. Oh, oh my gosh, look. Look, oh, oh, I crashed, guys. Oh, no. How unfortunate is that? Out of the blue, too. Dang, Mumbo, I'm oh. crashing, too. What, it, oh. what do you think could have happened? That is so... So weird. Yeah, oh. right? Like, how did I start God. crashing all of a sudden out of nowhere? Yeah. D did you see green? I crashed. I crashed. <laughs> I didn't well, see I'm... anything because I actually crashed. No, no. Yeah, so did we. We both really actually crashed. We we're, totally we're a little, crashed. yeah, we're a trio of buttercup crashers. That's right. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely. Um, uh huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, well, is there anything else we can do? Well, someone's got to clear this up. <laughs> yeah. Well, the good news is, guys. Um, no. What? It, well, uh, oh, I'm just walking around. <laughs> Ooh, pink petals. The good news is, the good news is, is that it's mainly on both of your bases. There's only about five eggs on my base, so I guess. Wait, what? That's the, the benefit of having a small base. <laughs> no, they're inside here, my no, yeah, I mean, look, there's a good, there's a good number, but not quite as many as what you no. guys have got. <laughs> no. But if you're crashing, Mumbo, you won't be able to clean these no, up at all. No, of course not. They'll, they'll be there forever and permanently. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear! I oh no, you didn't actually click on it. I almost crashed. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Wait a second! Oh, no, Looks we're like we're you guys are going to be clean. I knew it! Now. I knew it! Who's going to be cleaning up all the eggs? Oh! The oh! Oh! oh I knew it! I knew it! I knew Mumbo was logging off. It took me a while, but I figured it out in the end. Ha ha! Got him. <laughs> oh, we actually have to do this, don't we, Scott? Can we just click them and hope that they spawn just elsewhere? Oh, yeah, Scott, get, I mean, get cleaning up. 
Fine, I'm cleaning up. Here we go. No, Scott, stop it. <laughs> stop. <laughs> you know, I just realized, Mumbo, I have a huge problem. I was going to sell my dragon egg to the museums right. for big cash dollars. <laughs> I think the value just plummeted. Like it Green's might, it might. <laughs> computer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, I think there's a chance that... Inflation has taken hold. <laughs> Mumbo, um, have you looked inside the nether regions of a sniffer before? Say, what? Yeah, I, that was a what? Come on down. Oh, step on wait, down with oh. me. Step on down. Just look inside here. It's basically the nether. I logged in at a very strange time. It is actually. Okay, let's just put aside who's going to do the cleaning for now. Yeah. Yep. Let's yep. promise not to touch any eggs for now. Yeah. What are we going to do in return? Uh, Doc has got a big robot type thing that our camp is in the way of, we could just totally build like a, a big robot that faces off against his robot. Flying machines. I mean, that's, I, I could, I could do that. You. Yeah, that's, gonna, that's, I, gonna, that's, gonna be a, that's gonna be on you. What do you, what robot is it? What's it gonna look like? A buttercup? Look like a, a, a buttercup, of course. Just a big old flowery buttercup. I was hoping for a VW bus, but that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> ask for much, does he? <laughs> no, this is nothing but complaints around here. <laughs> I actually don't know where this robot is. Where is it? Oh, should we go and look at it? So what does it do? <laughs> so the, the the machine walks out the barn and just walks along here? Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, and our so. camp is going to stamp on our camp. It, we, we could definitely defeat it in a more exciting way than it just crashing into my tent. <laughs> With our own robot. So that when to Doc protect launches it. whatever is in there, yeah. uh, our buttercup will protect the camp in a very dramatic fashion. Like a jousting match. They just meet in the middle. Exactly. Me in the middle. Hopefully, do like you know. Can you make it fly. explode? Can you make it explode the goat? I will, I will gladly can you add make fireworks? it explode the goat. Like firework dispensers as it's going, it's like. Pew, pew, uh, pew. I don't think you can move uh, dispensers. No, no, I can't, can't move dispensers. Scar, way to make my build sound disappointing. Dude, I Again. feel so bad. Every time Scar makes a suggestion, we shoot it down. <laughs> <laughs> It's he he's keeps like, coming up with things impossible. No, I was thinking it would be like, like pollen, right? It's a buttercup. It's shooting pollen out. That's its attack method. <laughs> All right, Scar, like, you can ride let's in it. push the goat off a cliff. Oh, Scar, they can they can <laughs> cling to, to mountains really easily. He just needs to come up with better suggestions. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing terrible. my best over here. <laughs> to, to, to do All right, next. When you give us a good suggestion, we're going to jump on it. I did have a suggestion, right, got, by the way. Suggestion. I thought yeah, maybe yeah. we could make buttercup cookies that we could eat like these, but they're buttercups. What do we think? What are we thoughts? Maybe like a stand, we sell the cookies, it helps fund the operation. You're a true warrior, Scar. Thank you, good you, idea. You can be in charge of cookies. Oh. Okay, excellent. Yeah, we're all yeah, bored of that idea. Good stuff, yeah. good stuff. Right, so you'll make the, the big robot of death yeah. and I shall yeah. make the flower pot that it sits in. You handle the cookies. Yes. Excellent. What a what a meeting. We're, this is what a two team. for two. Incredible meetings. We didn't even sit on our chairs that we spent ages making. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we've just stood outside the camp. Wait, wait, wait. Is... Let's go, 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 go okay. quick to the chairs. What a fantastic meeting we've had. Yeah, whoa, 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 Brilliant. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, business. Brilliant. Excellent. Oh, no. Whoa, uh, battles. No. Uh, what is this called? No, it's definitely Flowers, not Flowers, peace, Flowers. love. Peace and, peace and love. And, and cookies. And apparently cookies. I'm not sure how yep. cookies fits in this, but it, go for it, Scar. Yeah, I'm trying. All, all my other suggestions have been shot down. This was the first <laughs> thing that came to my mind, considering I was holding a pair of cookies. What on earth are we going to do with all of these dragon eggs? They are literally everywhere and where we're going to build today. Now, of course... <laughs> If we just click on them, they're just going to reappear, of course. Well, I guess some of these can land on half slabs and break, but I have no idea what to do. I know some of this area is hollow. We can drop them down. <laughs> we can do some of that. Oh my gosh, it's down in the catacombs of Scarland too. All right, everyone. Wish me luck. We've got to clear this out so we can get building today. Not a perfect idea, but let's try this out. This is what I was doing with the Wither Skulls literally the night before. There we go. Put that down and bam. Oh no. They don't get pushed with slime. It's hoping to make some kind of like poor man's flying machine. But this obviously works. So that's one egg at a time. Oh no. This is very painful. I'm not sure what is worse. The skulls 
<laughs> or the dragon eggs. What do you think? In the comments, just write skulls or eggs. Which one? <laughs> Which one is more tedious to move and get rid of? I'm curious to know what you guys think. We're going all out, guys. <laughs> We're doing the nuclear option. <laughs> This is the nuclear option to get rid of these things. Get them out of here. All the eggs, they're gone. <laughs> Goodbye, you stinking eggs. Bunch of rotten eggs. No good, dirty, rotten eggs. All of you are bad eggs. They almost look like little people walking up and down Main Street. But no, they are giant dragon poops. And I am so sick of these eggs. I went with Operation Scorched Earth and barely got rid of a handful of them. So if you have any ideas on how to get rid of these a little faster, as you are way smarter than I am, please let me know in the comments. All suggestions, please. I need them. But anyway, I've cleared out enough to at least get started with today's build. So my friends, let's hit super fast build mode. super fast build mode and look at our amazing landscaping below i have had an absolute blast adding all the flowers the plants the trees and this tree in particular is my favorite it's designed after a japanese maple and i think it looks absolutely fantastic we have the coral flowers here i love these big trees that flank the entrance into the park these trees are a background and just below them in the foreground is a design very similar to what we did in the hub so i think that looks really really nice and if we shoot over to the town hall we have another japanese maple symmetrically placed to the other one and under the overhang we have a new pattern for the floor additional planters and bushes we even have garbage cans so yeah cleaned up this area i think that is looking absolutely fantastic but as i said i just had a blast putting this together i love using the new pink petals here so we have the azalea leaves we have the pink petals and the big bushy pink um bushes whatever they are <laughs> so we got those installed there and i think that looks absolutely fantastic and it was really fun experimenting with the new flowers a lot of cool patterns that you can create with those now on the side of the building we have added two big trees here and that helps disguise the backstage portion of our buildings right we have the on stage portion and we have the backstage portion so one side's for show one side is more for the industrial purpose of the building these are under appreciated flowers by the way i love these things don't know what they're called but they're great and we need to use more of those look at that view from above all the colors the intersecting lines but best of all look at this view as the guests walk into the park they see the castle the town hall the tcg theater and all the plants and trees but one thing that's missing here for sure is the human element things to interact with so the best thing i can think of is adding an additional trolley look at that we got another trolley here and even a balloon stand over in the corner and these are just little things that help sell it as a real place i really hope that you guys have a solution for all of these dragon eggs because this is going to be a very, very 
daunting project but look at our trolley our balloon stand all of our trees and plants and i can finally say this area of the park is done what's next you may ask well we are getting park tickets made right now by hoffen and i've got a sneak peek and they look amazing i cannot wait to show you those and we're gonna be able to give those to the hermits so we'll have turnstiles a big building entrance that will lead into the park and of course in our next episode i've got some surprises in the backstage area as i mentioned we were gonna do some backstage work but i wasn't able to get to it today because my brother's here haven't seen him since the uh beginning of the pandemic so really Really excited to finally see him after all these years and ouch anyway i have some more surprises on this side because we're actually going to be hiring somebody to work here in scarland <laughs> oh i've got so many more fun things coming and of course our fireworks show and eventually our river ride on this side of the park and scarland's future is bright with all sorts of amazing things just need to get rid of all these stinking eggs <laughs> but anyway guys i hope you have a wonderful rest of the day thank you so much for watching and until next time we'll see you later and don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scared for life